Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us for the BPM Change Management PRR Review Monthly Meeting. My name is Isabella Nicosia, representing ISO Stakeholder Affairs, and I'll be facilitating today's web conference. Uh, today's call is being recorded. The recording is for informational and convenience purposes only, and any related transcription should not be reprinted without the ISO's permission. And we will be taking questions throughout the call today. Um, if you are dialed in by phone only and not on the WebEx, you can enter the question queue at any time by pressing pound two on your telephone keypad. But if you are connected to audio through the WebEx platform, um, please use the raise hand feature, which is located right above the chat box on the lower right hand side of your screen. And then just a reminder for everyone to please introduce yourself before asking your question. As a reminder, these monthly calls are structured to stimulate an honest dialogue and engage different perspectives. And while we welcome comments and questions, please just remember to keep them professional and respectful. The purpose of today's meeting is to discuss the proposed revision requests that are in the initial or recommendation stage of the process. And today we'll be discussing 13 PRRs, four of which are in the initial stage, and then we have nine in the recommendation stage. Two of those PRRs were submitted by Gridwell Consulting on behalf of WPTF, and then 11 were submitted by the ISO. So the BPM process is part of the California ISO's larger stakeholder initiative process, and the purpose of BPMs is to set forth business practices that implement the ISO tariff. And the ISO conducts a yearly policy initiative roadmap process to consider and rank initiatives. And then policy changes submitted through the PRR process will be referred to in that policy initiative roadmap process. And finally, each subject area in a BPM is based on enabling language in the ISO tariff and the PRR process cannot be used to introduce changes that are not supported by existing tariff authority. So we'll get, oh, go ahead and get started with the PRRs that impact the reliability requirements BPM. We have two here that are in the initial stage and one in the recommendation stage. And Melanie Bogan is on the line to walk us through these three. For the first PRR, it's PRR 1364, which is for correct bidding requirements for non-generating resource, non-regulation energy management. The reason for this revision was for the RTM bidding requirement for non-generator resources, non-REM, must be updated to match the description in the tariff. There were no comments submitted in this period. The next step is to post recommendation. Are there any questions on this PRR? All right, and I do not have anyone in the queue as of yet. And just a reminder that if you do wish to enter the question queue, you can do so by selecting the raise hand icon located at the top right of the WebEx chat panel. And if you're phone only, that is pound two on the phone. Right, the second PRR is PRR 1361, which is the Re Resource Adequacy Enhancement Project Phase 1 Transition Process. The reason for this revision is for clarifying the transition process relating to Tariff Section 9.3.1.3.9. The effective date for this PRR was 6 to 2021. There were no comments submitted. Uh, the next step is to post recommendation. Are there any comments or questions on this PR? We have no questions in the queue. Perfect. All right. The last one is PRR 1356, which is just the 2022 availability assessment hours. Uh, the reason for this revision is just to add the availability assessment hours for 2022. There were no comments submitted. And the next step is to post final decision. Are there any questions on this PRR? We do not have any questions in the queue. All right, thank you, Melanie. So for the next uh, three BPMs, our subject matter expert was not able to join us today. So I will review these slides. And if you have any questions, please send them in an email to bpm underscore cm at kaiso.com, and I will route those to our SME to get you some answers. But um, as an overview for the market operations BPM, we have um, six PRRs here. We have two in the initial stage and then four in the recommendation stage. 
So I'll start with uh, PR 1363, which is traje trajectory between real-time dispatch intervals. And the reason for this revision um, is based on additional feedback from stakeholders. The CAISO is proposing additional revisions to section 7.2.3.6 of the market operations BPM, specifically trajectory data. And the revisions will reflect the CAISA's expectation that resources will follow their dispatch operating point between dispatch operating targets. Um, we did not receive any comments on this PRR and the next step is to post the recommendation. For PRR 1362, which is for quarter 831 phase two threshold logic, um, the reason for this revision is due to the FERC 831 Phase two initiative, which is related to market threshold logic. Um, the effective date for this PRR was June 15th. We did receive initial comments from the six cities, which were submitted on June 30th. Um, and the next step is to post the recommendation. Um, so again, if, if you have any questions on this PRR, please send them in an email to the BPM change management inbox and we'll get you answers from our students. For PRR 1360, uh, the reason for this revision was to add new sections in the market operations BPM due to uh, the summer readiness initiative related to load export and wheeling priorities. The effective date for this PRR was also, um, or sorry, is July 15th, um, but it is pending for approval. No comments were received on this PRR, and the next step is to uh, post the final decision. PR 1359, which is another summer readiness. Um, PRR. The reason for revision was for changes to the market operations BPM section 6.6.5 due to summer readiness initiative, again located to the load export and wheeling priorities. Um, the effective date was July 15th. No comments submitted and the next step is to post the final decision. For PRR 1348, um, the description of losses impact on POR energy LMPs. The reason for this revision um, was for resources that are physically located away from its corresponding POR. Um, it describes the impact of different loss components and thus LMP marginal cost of losses between those two locations um, has on energy prices and notes that the market model uses the bids at the physical location when determining which resource is economical to dispatch. No comments were received on this PRR and the next step is to post the final decision. For PR 1345, market operations BPM changes as it relates to scheduling priorities. The reason for this revision was to address removing the higher priority that RUC exports are given in the real-time market. Um, and then we also provided some additional descriptions um, of the import leg and export leg of the wheel through self schedules to provide additional clarity. Um, and then these BPM changes are effective immediately um, since they do not require tariff changes. No comments were received on this PRR. The next step is to post the final decision. For the EIM mark, uh, BPM, we have one PRR in the recommendation stage, 1358, which is summer readiness 2021 as it relates to the EIM BPM effective June auto mirror changes. And this is also part of the summer readiness initiative and the change is to update the mirror system resources to have auto mirroring enabled for transactions between the ISO and then other EIM BAAs um, in accordance with the specific procedure detailed in the draft. The effective date for this PRR was June 15th. We did not receive any comments and the next step is to post the final decision. And then lastly, for our market instrument BPM, we have two PRRs both in the recommendation stage, um, PRR 1357 and 1353. 1357 is market instrument changes related to FERC Order 831 Phase 2. Um, the reason for this revision was related um, changes to the FERC Order 831 Phase 2. Um, we added the Appendix P that details the max import bid price calculation and then some other miscellaneous edits. And the effective date for this PRR was June 15th. We did not receive any comments and the next step is to post the final decision. And then lastly, we have PR 1353, which is clarification of DOT breakdowns for EIRs. Um, and the reason for this revision was to provide clarification that the negative subcontent for EIRs is a result of market curtailment. We did not receive any comments on this PRR, um, and the next step will be to post the final decision. 
So again, if you have any um, questions on any of the PRRs related to the market operations EIM or market instruments BPM, I just ask that you please submit those questions to the BPM change management mailbox at BPM underscore CM at kaiso.com. And I will route those to our SME to get you some answers. So moving on to the candidate CRR holder registration BPM, we have one PRR in the recommendation stage. Um, it's PRR 1355 and Leticia Collins is on the line to walk us through this one. Good morning, everyone. Uh, this is the PRR 1355 for the CRR holder uh, minor, whoops, sorry, minor revision to correct some typographical errors. Reason for this revision, the reason for this revision is to correct some errors found in the BPM document related to duplicate sections in the attachment A and removal of any erroneous information about the CRR application fee. There were no comments. The next step is to post the final decision. Are there any questions? Okay, thank you. I don't see any questions in the queue at this time. All right, thanks, Tish. So that wraps up today's BPM Change Management Review Monthly Meeting. Um, the next meeting will be on August 24th at 11 a.m. Um, again, if you have any questions um, on any of the PRRs that we discussed today, um, you can send those in an email to bpm underscore cm at kaiso.com. Um, I'll just open it up and see if there are any last questions before we conclude. All right, I do not see any questions in the queue at this time. Okay, great. Well, thank you all for participating and have a great rest of your day. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes your call. Thank you for using event services and you may now disconnect.